All right, guys, you remember where we are, don't you? We are going to try and accuse the avant-garde fashion designer of using drugs. Have you heard of real blood? Oh, of, of course I have. It's a cocktail containing tomato juice. Uh, not even close. Oh, you must mean that old cult movie. Or that specialist retailer aimed at uh, teenagers? That's hot topic. Lester. Yeah, he's trying to get, he's trying, he's trying to, to hide. Something? I need to find another way in. All right, um, let's talk about the fashion world. He likes that. Brilliant lights cast deep shadows. What's that supposed to mean? Musicians, artists, designers, top clientele for drug pushes. I don't deny it. And you're one of them, too? I don't need that stuff. I've got Suki. There's nothing that can possibly stimulate me more than her. Ew. Comparing her to the effects of mere chemicals, synthetic drugs, <laughs> you may as well just slap her in the face. That's not right. D. What kind of question is that? This is a very confusing I'm question. Something. Even if I knew about it, he makes a good point. I can't approach this. All right. Uh, that's wrong too. Yep. Oh my God. All right. There. Yours is a world of trends, isn't it? <laughs> well, there are trends in drugs too. You're sensitive to trends, right? You know what I'm talking about. Real blood. The ultimate drug. Considered the final and best of the blood series. As the name might suggest, it's a bright red powder. Just like the suspicious powder I saw on your clothing. You seem quite desperate to paint me as a junkie. But you're just overthinking things. The substance you question is nothing like that silly real blood. It's far more wonderful, revolutionary, like a completely new age. Oh, gosh. For now, well, just call it D. Can't. D? I'm you just you said it. All right, here we go. Tell me more about this. New age. Mm -hmm. No comment? Come on, No man. comment. If it's all legit, surely you can tell me about it. Mm. It isn't time to reveal anything yet. You'll hear about it soon enough, along with the rest of the world. So you're planning on spreading a new age called D across the entire world simultaneously? <laughs> no comment. Oh my God. Hmm. This guy could be a lot more dangerous than he looks. I'll try taunting him a little. I've worked it out. The D of this new age is the D from Duncan. Oh! Oh! What is going on? In other words, you want to make your own name the symbol of this new age. The whole world will be under the spell of the red powder that bears your name. But that isn't art. It's just attention seeking. The desire for conquest. Just another wannabe dictator. Is that what Suki wants? Say whatever you like. It's not like you can stop me. Well, okay then. That was an interesting little side case, a bit of information here. This so guy is tougher than I thought. He knows I don't have anything on him, okay? I'll slap him with some proof. Something he can't run away from. All this talk of a new age called D, though. I just hope my bad feeling about all this is way off the mark. I hope so, too. All right. Find all the evidence, one piece remaining.
Why did I even think to try this? I must be getting tired. Where are we going? Oh, look. Hey, there's our friend. Alright, I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna look at this and see. Hold on. Look! You can see the sunrise. Like that lady was saying last time, the sun was on the other side. Really? How much more cleaning do I need to do here? Come on, guys. I can see out the window. Fine, whatever. Alright, I will leave no dirt unwiped. There. <laughs> what a beautiful sunset. But it's on Reminds the other me of the side. Day I whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Wait, oh. Dude, it's super weird that she's like. Total child. I don't understand. Oh, golly. Little Peggy. I'll find who killed you. I will. Alright, there we go. Yep, the direction of the plane is the wrong way. All right, so now let's turn our vision back on. Oh, here we go. I've collected all the puzzle pieces. <laughs> the west side window. Maybe champagne as soon as we arrive at DC. I'm very sorry, sir. I don't know who you are. That's it. This piece of the past has been solved. Okay. Marshall, are you really sentimental enough to hold on to a pen that can't even write? Unexpected. Most unexpected. You seem quite different from the man I first imagined you to be, but that doesn't mean you're totally free from suspicion. I told you The same uh, trick won't work God twice. Damn it. Although it's still the first time for you. Oops. Two pens, yeah, one the of them. Fenway Park different. Ticket was a used ticket. Okay. What? The seat cover pattern is cherry blossom and snow. What are you rambling about? <laughs> the destination is in the other direction. The sun can be seen from the windows on the right side. In other words. The aircraft is flying south. Explain yourself clearly. I am David Young, a private detective who also collaborates with the BPD. Now you, Derek Buchanan, I consider you suspicious. If you are the one I'm after, you're gonna remain heavily involved in my investigation from now on. So let me give you this warning. I'll do whatever it takes to achieve my goal. I'll never give up. Did we just give him the broken pen or the not I broken pen? In your way. So be ready for that. So, oh, one other thing, something I probably ought to mention. According to the BPD files, you get killed while transporting the courier known as Rabbit. to be killed Antonio Zapatero and Olivia awesome. Jones they vanished right in front of my eyes literally vanished they didn't vanish at all they were never on this flight this isn't the AG flight 117 of Boston it's a different aircraft heading for Washington in other words, they didn't flavor. vanish. 
now. I move. Must have happened at that moment. I used the broken fountain pen to come further back in time. Oh, that's really clever. And mementos only work once. Yep. I don't feel anything from either one anymore. David. Why do you shave your beard every day? <laughs> it was just starting to grow out. It's such a waste. Little Peggy. What should I do? What is going on? There's something else. Damn it. Wow, what is going on? Okay, um, hmm. So we learned that we can Inception style dive from inside dives, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, earned a lot of credits, spent a lot of credits. Um, synchro rate was not the best, but it was all right. Um, let's continue. Got more costumes. I should really figure out how to do those. And so now I can replay both the prologue and episode one, which hopefully I won't have to do, but we'll see. Huh. Who in the heck are you? What is going on here? A white owl feather. No, I don't think we need to continue just yet. Although... Hmm. We have quite a bit of time left. Let's do it. See you again this time either, little Peggy. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? <sighs> Unbelievable. What are you doing here? Mm, this plane is going down. Fucking with my big eye, weren't you? No more messing with this puppy. I'm locking this one out of the park. Let him go. He vanished. Never talk to me again. Next time I'll break more than you want. Dude, everybody on this plane is using drugs, man. Everybody. Again. This is a story of a man with a very strange fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Huh. We're just putting questions on top of questions. I'm 
I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm wondering who that guy was at her door, but I don't I don't really know. And I'm pretty confused what this white owl has to do. Like, I understand this connection to that guy that we just met, but I'm really confused as to what this event, like the, the little girl falling through the ice, has to do with um, everything else. Huh. Yeah, that's fine. See, is this like baby little Peggy? Who are you, mister? Yes, it is, definitely. Hey, mister, who are you? I'm David Young. Who are you? David? You're David? There's a spot-tailed duck with her duckling over there. <laughs> Let's play with them. You still do not understand how bird watching works, Peggy. <laughs> All right, well, I suppose we might as well. I heard you were really cool looking. Wow. Why do you have a beard like that? It's kind of scary. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. What are we doing out here? Oh, she just did like a flip. Okay, so like this is definitely not real life is what I'm gathering. Is it... Because, like, yeah. You know, I almost died once. <laughs> Can you believe it? That's a the weird thing to say. Oh. I started to crack. I was so scared. But my two dads saved me. My two wonderful dads. And you have two dads? That's pretty rad. I'm okay with that. Um, I only saw one last time, though. And he had, like, white hair. Come on! Let's go! Let's play with the family of ducks! The ducks are frozen solid, honey. Like, look at that. They're dead. Like the deer was earlier. Alright, you know what? It's worth it for 30 credits to go over here. What is going on with her and her moving? See, it's right behind the sign. It's trying to... There we go. Alright. Who puts all of this weird crap out here on the ice? make a snowball oh okay I'll just make a place to sit I guess what are you doing here David this is really this is really creepy this game has its moments where it's really unsettling something yeah something so what is it a lead that will let me meet someone special one more time. A lead? What does it look like? I don't know. What'll you do once you find it? I'm 
gonna change the past. Duck statue? <laughs> you can't change the past, David. Whoa. <laughs> Little Peggy. You can't change the past. You do know that, don't you, David? No. I can do it. I'm going to change it. Time is always moving into the future. It's always been that way. What? You can't change the past. You just have to accept it. I belong to the past. I'm dead, David. No! I am dead. I am dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I am dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. He is not having a good time. Cheese. Man, this game's intense. This All right. When I'm diving into the past, you wake and up I in the fall bathtub. Asleep, I get knocked out. I end up back here. That's really interesting. It's going in a circle like that, huh? Well. Hmm. Teddy. Oh man, it's night time. We've been gone. Teddy! It's really gotten late. Dang it. Missed the... <laughs> this belongs to the person who jumped me on the passenger flight. If this is a fragment of some sunglasses, then that narrows it down to only one suspect. But is he really the type to use a stun gun? <sighs> it's no good. The pieces aren't fitting, little Peggy. Huh. <laughs> he has got a one-track mind. Teddy's laptop. All right, we're not doing that, actually. We're going to go talk to our resident cat girl and see what the heck is going on. Um, what's up? Are you sleeping up there? My little shopper is still sleeping. <laughs> I'll leave her to her dreams. Is it just cool and normal that she sleeps on top of the TV like that? But I, I guess, I mean, fine. There's different magazines on here now. Huh. All right. Interesting enough. So that's all different. Um, oh, there's a little metal down here. Hey, yeah, let's put some logs in the fire. <laughs> this guy has no manners. No manners at all. What? Oh, bronze credit for being cute, I guess. Um, it's really funny that he keeps his stuff in like a little tin like it's uh, cigarettes because he's a hard-boiled detective. go look over here. Oh, up. I gotta look up. There's a thing on the top shelf. Okay, never mind. Are, are these gonna be different? Because this seems weird. No, yeah. It's 16 instead of like 4 or whatever it was before. Let's 
strange death cases springing up rapidly. That is some good journalism. <laughs> All right, let's have some coffee and cookies. Here we go. Oh, it gives me some more stamina, too. All right. What's our fortune, then? The first flush toilet was built in 2200 BC. That's... That's weird. All right, um, I need to eat some food. Let's go hit up the kitchen, I guess. Hey, there's a smoothie. That's food and not drink, right? Because I... Oh, dude. He's just going to pound that whole smoothie? Jeez. Uh. Vegetable juice does you good, I guess. Oh, I see there's food in this cabinet. What do we got in there? That is horrifying. I'm gonna have to eat that. <laughs> Bunch of uh, seafood that's just left out in a cabinet open. Dude, is there a note? No, all right. Oops. Hey, baked beans are good. Why is my kitchen so clean? I guess Teddy did it. Bandages. I'm getting pretty, pretty beefed up here. My three principal stats. Letters from little Peggy. David, I miss you. It's quiet at night, and I sit listening to the clock tick, marking the time until you visit me. Then, after you visit and leave for work, it's the worst feeling, knowing I'm going to be lonely for another day. Sometimes I wish you'd never come at all. Today's your first promotion since you joined the force, isn't it? I hope you're out right now celebrating. Have fun. Must be Forrest's first promotion, too. Congrats to both of you. I hope you're proud, because I am. Being able to sleep in my own bed still feels like a small victory. If I've learned anything from these past two years, it's that you have to look at everything as a gift, even painful things. The sickness might be fate's way of telling me to keep on living. It's a difficult gift to handle, but as long as you're in my life, I think I can win. Right now, I'm looking forward to us both drinking a cold beer in the not-too-distant future, celebrating that my disease is in remission for good. Peggy Oldman. So she used to be called Oldman, and she used to, she has had cancer? That's, I mean, that's one of the few things that goes into remission. I suppose other rough viral kind of infections can also go into remission, but that's typically a cancer thing. What is, there's a package? What? I got a rare, I got a whiskey for vision recovery. Let's see, are there any extra cases I can work on? Mm, no. Oh, I see. So, like, maybe if I miss those special ones, I can go back to them and do stuff. <laughs> Dude with the first eye, they disappeared. He's suspecting, obviously suspecting the Sky Marshal because of the sunglasses. That makes sense. Um, hmm. All right. I think I can buy that. You know what, though? This is just about um, another half an hour. So let's listen to a new record, and I will see you guys all again sometime soon. I'm going to take a short break from this game, and I don't know. Um, hopefully I'll be back and playing it again for you soon. I hope you like it. Uh, this game is really strange. I'm finding it kind of hard to let's play. Uh, other games typically just kind of have gameplay, and so they don't have breaks that are sort of story forced so i hope you don't mind these episodes being a little disjointed and i will see you guys all next time oops 
and I can't sit on the couch anymore. Oh, no, I have to select this. All right. Well, take it real easy, guys. Um, hope to see you again soon. Bye.